Hi everyone, welcome back to more Popper on Magic the Gathering Online on Andromeda Galaxy. Today we're going to be playing a deck called Dragon Reanimator, and contrary to how the name sounds, it's not really a dedicated reanimator deck, it's more like a mid-range deck that has the possibility of exhuming something like an Ulamog's Crusher turn 2, although it doesn't really happen that often, but it certainly can. So... What the deck is, is it does a little bit of dredging, and it relies on the delve mechanic to get your Gurmog Anglers and Hooting Mandrels into play really early. But why the deck is called Dragon Reanimator is because you're running Exhumes, which is for one and a black. Each player puts a creature card from his or her graveyard onto the battlefield. Ideally, you want to hit Ulamog's Crusher with that, which is a 8-8 with Annihilator or two, and attacks each turn if able. So what you want to do with this deck is you want to do things like Faithless Looting, which is draw two cards and discard two cards, and it also has a flashback cost of two red. And you want to do things like Commune with the Gods, which is for one in a green, reveal the top five cards of your library. You may put a creature or enchantment card from among them into your hand, put the rest in your graveyard, and you have redundant effects at similar mana costs for that. One of them is a creature called Seder Wayfinder, and when Seder Wayfinder enters the battlefield, reveal the top four cards of your library. You may put a land card from among them into your hand, put the rest into your graveyard. And then Grizzly Salvage does something similar. Again, the mana cost is just two, black and a green this time, but it's at instant speed, which is relevant. And you reveal the top five cards of your library. You may put a creature or land card from among them into your hand, put the rest into your graveyard. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to fill up your graveyard so that you get things like Dragon Scales, which gives a creature plus one, plus two, and has Vigilance, or Dragon Breath, which gives an enchanted creature Haste, and it also gives them Fire Breathing, and Dragon Fangs, which gives a creature plus one, plus one, and Trample. The cool thing about all of these is, though, is that if they're in your graveyard, if a creature with converted mana cost six or greater enters the battlefield, you can return these enchantments from your graveyard to play attached to them. So say you dumped an Ulamog's Crusher into your graveyard via Dredging with Stinkweed Imp, or through Faithless Looting, or any of these effects like that, be it Commune with the Gods, Seder Wayfinder, Grizzly Salvage. So you dump all those and an Ulamog's Crusher, and then you go to Exhume, you hit that Ulamog's Crusher as your target, and then if you have any of these in your graveyards, the Fang, Breath, or Scales, it all comes back into play on him for free, and then you're swinging with something ridiculous like a 10-11, Annihilate 2, Trample, Vigilance monster that is just super difficult to deal with. Alternatively, you can use the Delve creatures like Gurmog Angler, who's just a huge, stupid 5-5 beater, and Hooting Mandrels, which is a 4-4 trample creature. The big thing is they have Delve, so like all these things that you're milling with, that you're milling yourself with, like the Grizzly Salvage, the Wayfinders, it helps fuel your graveyard so that you can cast these monstrosities or just exhume something. So the deck... Is a lot of fun. Sometimes it does flop and you don't hit your targets. And if your opponent's bouncing stuff constantly, it sucks. But I've had pretty good success with it. And it certainly is a lot of fun. Now, in, into the sideboard over here. What I tried to do with this was kind of make it into a little bit of a tortured existence deck. So it can kind of just, like, shift into something else. So if your reanimation plan's not really working that well, you can always just try to outvalue your opponent with Tortured Existence, which is black, discard a creature card, return card, target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So you could use something like that with Stinkweed Imp, where it allows you to dredge, you bring it back, and then you can just discard it again, and you can always get back something like one of your big stupid guys, like Crusher, or Angler, or Hooting Mandrels, cast them again, and then you're dredging more with Stinkweed Imp. So it's just a way, like, against grindier decks that are going to try to, like, disrupt you more, for you to just kind of, like, get card advantage out of them. And Tortured Resistance is also pretty sweet with Arrogant Worm, which is a 4-4 Trample for 5, which isn't that exciting, but it has a Madness cost of 2 green, so you could dump it from your hand to bring something back to your hand, but oh wait, you get this 4-4 now. now. Other things I have in there are Duress, Sphere Control matchups, it's good, you just pluck whatever their problematic non-creature spell is and get rid of it. And I have Electricery, which is very, very useful against decks like Tokens and Elves, so any kind of like weenie strategies or like soul sisters i haven't played that deck against that deck yet i imagine it would be good there uh the spore frog so that if you're facing a deck that wants to attack you really quickly with tons of little creatures like the ones i just mentioned or there's even some other ones too spore frog is pretty awesome and he's cool with tortured existence because you can just keep dumping things into your graveyard getting him back casting him and then playing him again 
And I also put Smash the Smithereens in there just because it's a way to do direct damage, get rid of problem artifacts. And I also put Golgari Brown Scale, which is whenever it is put into your hand from your graveyard, you gain two life and he has Dredge too. So you can just keep getting him back. He's good against more aggressive decks that attack your life total rapidly as their way of winning, you know, like Burn or any kind of Goblin deck or things like that. And he also, like, walls up a lot of their threats because, you know, he's a 2-3. So that's the deck, and we'll jump into a few matches and see how it goes.